Okay, so now we're on the back here for part two. Now number 10, this is very similar to the one we just did. So again, I would pause, try to solve this yourself, and then see if we agree. All right, so my first move here, I have, uh, I'm always focused on the X. The X is on the right side, so that's where I'm gonna begin. Now, I'm tempted to do minus five. However, both of these terms are being divided by eight, so I cannot just do that. Let us undo the division by multiplying the right side by eight and the left side by eight. Now, this will give us 112 equals. Now, again, I'm gonna divide first. This is like eight over one. Eight divided by eight reduces to one. And one, I would distribute the one, but one times five is five, one times two x is two x. So it's the same thing. Now that the fraction is gone, let's move the constant, which is the five, positive five. So we'll go minus, minus, both sides. 107 equals two x. Two times x, to undo that, we do the division, the inverse of multiplication. 107 divided by two is a decimal, 53.5 is equal to x. You could write a fraction if you wanted. You could leave it as 107 over two, but again, I like 53.5. The only times that I'm gonna leave a fraction answer is that if this is a decimal that's either repeating or if it really has a long pattern to it, I'm gonna keep the fraction most likely. All right, number 11. Okay, and you can check, you should check that, but I'm gonna tell you that that is the correct answer. Number 11, if the perimeter of the figure is 111, what is x? Hmm. Now perimeter means the distance around an object. So in other words, they're telling us to add the sides. We have three sides in the triangle. So we're gonna add these, you can do them in any order, but I'm going to write x plus three, the left side, plus the bottom, which is 2x minus 7, plus the right side, 4x, is, is means equals, and they tell us the perimeter is 111. Now to solve this, before we start moving things to the right side, let's combine our like terms. We have a 1x plus 2x plus 4x. 1 plus 2 plus 4, we have 7x, and then we also have, we have some constants. We have positive three and we have negative seven. Again, that negative is with the seven. Three minus seven is minus four. So we get seven X minus four equals 111. Now we'll move the constant, we'll go plus plus. So seven X equals 115. And then we'll divide by seven. Let's see here, 115 divided by seven equals, whew, okay, so that's kind of a messy decimal there. So I'm gonna keep it, I'll write it as 115.7, or sorry, 115 over seven. So that did not work out so nicely, but if I check this, and I certainly want to, because now I'm not so sure about this, I'm going to take the original equation. So it was one X and that was 115 divided by seven plus three plus two times X. Minus seven plus four times X. This was the last side. And when you use the calculator, you also need to take your time and be very careful. Now this should give us a total distance of 111, and it does, so we're right. Two more. Number 12, the product, now product means to multiply, of five and a number is 85. What is the number? Well, what I'm going to do here is called defining a variable. Okay, I'm going to define my variable. It's kind of like a definition in English class where 
you are saying what a word means. In this case, I am saying what a variable means. I will use n, but you could use x or a or b or anything, any letter. Let n equal the number. Okay, so n represents my number. The product of 5 and a number, well, that's 5 times n, or 5n, is, means equals 85. What is the number? So in other words, they're telling us to solve. So this is actually a quick one, 5 times n, to undo that, we divide by 5, and we get 1n equals 17. That's it. And to check it, 17 times 5 is equal to 85. It works. Okay, so product is multiply. We need to know that. And we define the variable and we set it up and solve. Number 13, the sum, that means plus, of twice a number, that's 2 times n, and 4 is negative 12. So what is the number? Well, let n equal, I'm going to put my little number symbol here, and now we need to make the equation. Well, we're going to add two things, twice a number and 4 is equals negative 12. And now we solve. So let's move the constant positive 4, we'll subtract, and we get 2 times n equals negative 16. The last move, this is 2 times n to undo multiplication. Let's divide by 2. And we get n is equal to negative 8. All right, I think we're good, but let's check. 2 times a number, that was negative 8, plus 4. Is that equal to negative 12? Yes. And that is the end of the notes.